If you suck at push-ups, this is the one thing that you need to fix to get better. This is Jane Nelson here. It's another Friday fit to All right, so I'm using Christy here as the model. All right, you can't see her. You just want to get her shoulder blades. Check this out, right? Pinch your shoulder blades for me, please. Right, so you see her shoulder blades is re are retracted. Protract your shoulder blades. So every time, all right, relax for a second. When, um, especially like women, you know, you're a little, you have less upper body strength, but guys, we have this issues too. I do have a little wing and scapula on my left side. So when we lack strength in the triceps and the chest and the shoulders, what you will see every time somebody goes to do a push-up, pinch your shoulder blades and go down into a push-up. So that's how they kind of do a push-up, right? So relax. So every time you pinch the shoulder blades together, it makes your seams as though you're going lower to the floor without actually bending the elbows, without elbow flexion. So we want to fix that because what that does, it shows me that the muscles that stabilize in the scapula is weak and it doesn't allow uh, a stable platform for the shoulders, the triceps, and the chest to produce strength. All right, so we want to produce strength all the time. So we need to create a stable platform. Remember, instability reduces strength. So we need to have stability before we have mobility. So here's how you're gonna fix your push-up. One quick fix. Now, we are gonna ensure that we're in the plank position, suck your belly button in, right? Full plank, that's a full plank right there. Open your shoulder blades. So if you notice the shoulder blades are protracted. Now retract the shoulder blades to me. That's what you don't want. And that's what you see. You see what the neck does, right? Open, protract the shoulder blades. And now, just give me a little bend in the elbow, and up. Boom. One more. Keep the shoulder blades protracted, and up. Touch the floor for a second. Guys, that is your easy, easy fix. you notice I don't want you to go all the way down yet. The key here is to control the shoulder blade. Don't let the shoulder blades pinch. All right, if we don't have a stable platform for the scapula to, to upwardly rotate and to do this and to do all of that, then the primary movers, the triceps, the shoulders, and the chest would not perform properly. Let's do that one more time. Protract your shoulder blade and just go for a little push up. Up. That's it. Give me a couple more. Now notice the long, strong, straight line with the core. And that's all we need. Now do it improperly. Pinch your shoulder blades. Ah, that is what we do not want. Relax for a second. All right, guys, there you have it. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the one fix I want you to implement this week. You do not need to go all the way down to the floor, even if, uh, if you need to touch your knees to the floor if you're a beginner. Um, the key here is to make sure that the shoulder blades stay protracted, not retracted. Don't do the neck. Weakness in the cervical spine would result in weakness all the way down um, to the hip. Jay Nelson here, Friday Fit Tip. Talk to you later. Bye.